Oh, mi entre, as in every day and less, another way of supporting me is my throne. Next, should check out my Patreon. And make sure to use code DUMPY on your save my subs purchases. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the audio. Happy holidays. And have a good night. Hey, come on, scoot over. Hmm? How was work? It was all right. It was honestly quite boring today. You know Bonnie? Yeah. She was getting on to us about not reaching out to our clients to make sure they're satisfied. But we reached out to them a week ago, so I explained to her that if we keep reaching out to them, that we're just bombarding them with all these phone calls, and at some point they're probably going to want to quit. She's going to end up ruining the career for the future for the franchise, but whatever. Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. I did. I mean it. Oh, come on, honey. Your cooking's amazing. I mean it. It's really delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for a day off. <laughs> did I plan anything? Not really. And all honestly, I was going to ask you if you wanted to spend the morning in bed and then not get out of bed until like 12 or 1 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, honey. Hmm? Yeah, sure. What's up? Tell me what's on your mind. You want to talk about how you're feeling? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Wait, before you do that. Come here. Yes, come on, lay on my chest. Good boy. All right. So, what's the matter? Do I think that you're boring? Honey, why would I ever think that you're boring? Because you're too quiet. Just because you're quiet doesn't mean you're boring, honey. You're only quiet because you feel like you talk a lot? Mi amor, look at me. I don't think that you're boring. Nor do I think that you even talk a lot. I love hearing you talk. Yes, I do. Hearing your voice is the best part of my day. It makes me feel a lot better, you know that. I don't think that you're too loud. I don't think that you talk a lot. Nor do I even find you boring, honey. I think that you are the most wonderful person. I'm not saying that just because I'm your wife. I'm saying that because I love you. And I mean every word that I say, honey. I do. You know, coming home from work is the best part of my day. Because I get to see you. <laughs> I mean it, okay? I don't think that you believe me. Didn't you tell me a few days ago that your father was 
upset that you didn't have a job. Mm -hmm. And didn't you mention that he lectured you while we were on holiday with them? That, you know, he was upset that I was the one getting the money in the relationship. And that you were at home being you. And you told me how much it bothered you, how your father pushes this male narrative onto you. Men are supposed to be the ones getting the bread. Men are supposed to be the ones that are taking care of women. Men are supposed to be the protector. In reality, I did appreciate you bringing that up because it made me realize how much of an asshole your father is, first of all, and second of all. It made me realize how there are a lot of men that feel the way that you do. I think, and hey, look at me, and I think that in my opinion, I'm very happy and I do not feel regretful being able to be the one taking care of you. Okay? It makes me very happy that I get to do the things that I want to do. Um, I feel like that we both balance each other out. We do. Granted, my job does pay well, but I thought it was really cute that we both work together. <laughs> now, if you want to get a job, by all means, go ahead, honey. But I just want you to know, it does not bother me that you stay home, okay? Yes, I mean it. If anything, I think it's really nice that I get to take care of you. But if you wish to get a job, I don't mind. I know that has been eating at you for a while now. And secondly, don't feel bad to cry, okay? Yes, I mean it. Don't listen to your old man. I don't care if you cry, all right? Hey, hey, hey. It's okay to cry. I mean it. There is no shame. Well, your father is an old man who grew up thinking that being this way is the only way to be a man. I think the way that you are turning out is the best way to be a man. Do not let your father tell you how you should be, okay? You are my husband. And I love you for the way you are, okay? Don't give me that dorky smile. <laughs> I love you for who you are, okay? I just need you to remember that. And I do not think that you are boring. I don't know who tells you these things. Your brother? Well, your brother can shut his mouth. You're not boring. You're quiet, yes. And I enjoy that about you. But I also enjoy when you talk God, have you seen the way that you talk? You just smile so much and just, ugh, I just want to eat you up. <laughs> Look at you. I'm off tomorrow. Are you excited? Yeah. You want to go out? I saw this new game that you added to the Amazon wish list, and I thought, why not go with them to go pick it up? 
I guess I don't mind, honey. <laughs> hmm? I'm a hundred percent sure. I think that you are a wonderful husband. Okay? Never forget that. You are the most outstanding, amazing, the most kindest, the most perfect husband I could ever ask for. I'm glad to have met you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Feeling sleepy? Yeah. Are you okay? You feel better? That's good, that's good, honey. We can talk more about this in the morning, okay? Okay. Right now, you get your rest. I'll go clean up the kitchen while you do. I love you. Yes, yes, I love you. I love you. I love you so much, honey. I love my good boy. My really, really good boy. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sweet dreams, sweetheart.